Hi guys, welcome to Harsh Funny Vlogs, welcome to another video of mine. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button so you don't miss a video, and like the video if you like this kind of content. The other day, I did Premier Division, each club's best signing in the Premier Division. Today, I'm doing each club's best signing in the First Division, and again, this is my opinion. Uh, we'll start off in alphabetical order, lads, so we're going to start off with At Lone Town, and... <sighs> They've made so many signings. God, it's unbelievable, guys. Um, the likes of Curtis Burns come in from Waterford. Jack Watson from Bray. I'm not going to name them all, though. Killian Campwell from Bray. Some really good signings there. Dylan Hand, Longford. Um, just going through them. There's Shane Barnes, Cabotelli is another good signing as well. The player I went for, though, is Stephen Meany from Drottedy United. Now, Stephen was at Drottedy the last couple of seasons. He's a little bit of Premier Premier Division experience as well, but um, a player that can literally play in, I would say, four positions and do it quite well. Up front, number 10, left wing, right wing. So he can suit a number of different systems and formations as well. Um, it's still difficult to know what his best position is, to be honest with you. Um, whenever, whenever I've seen him play, I kind of like him central anyway, and maybe, um, I don't know, in the centre forward kind of role. Um he can drift wide from those positions, but uh, he can score goals. And, um, you know, last season he scored three goals for Drogheda, but didn't play obviously every game, but still played a part in them actually winning the league. So I think that he's going to be an important sign for Athlone. Still a young man as well. I think he's still 22, guys. So uh, keep an eye out for Stephen Meany at Athlone in 2021. Next up, guys, is Bray Wanderers. And in general, I like to stay away from kind of loan signings when I'm picking the best signing of the season, but you can't ignore Brandon Kavanagh, to be honest with you. Fantastic at Shamrock Rovers B last season. The amount of goals he scored. Uh, small, great balance. Um, good set-piece delivery and can score free kicks as well. Again, another player similar to Meany in a way. Probably not up front, but I would say number 10, left wing and right wing. He could play in. He could probably play in a, a three-man midfield as well, even though he's small, to be honest, as well. But um, be interesting to see how Bray actually use him this season, what way they'll play, whether they play one up front or two up front, etc., etc. Um, but a very, very good footballer. And, um, you know, a signing like that could give them an opportunity to actually go up this season, having just missed out last season. Stephen Kinsler, uh, Cabin Teeley, you know, Connor Clifford, Derry, Richard Farrell, Drotter, Sean Callan, Shamrock Rovers. There's some good signings in there as well. And uh, Bray will be an interesting team to watch, even though they lost some players. So, Brandon Kavanagh, guys, uh, can he repeat what he did last season? Be interesting to see. On to Cabin Teeley, guys. And up to about a week ago, they hadn't really signed anyone, but uh, they brought in a number of players. Obviously, re signed players like Kieran Marty Waters, who's going to be important for the team. A lot of players in from junior clubs, it has to be said. So, we'll see how they get on but I've gone for Niall Barnes who's come in from Longford Town and Niall can get goals for him I think to be honest with you it's something that Cabin Teeley obviously um, lacked a little bit since Manley left the club and they'll be looking to him to actually you know produce he made nine appearances for Longford last season in the league as well so the experience of helping them out and being around a winning squad that got through the playoffs should help Cabin Teeley and um, I think he kind of needs a bit of a career reboot so I can see Niall Barnes really prosper next season for Cabin Teeley. The Cove Ramblers guys have brought in similarly to Cabin Teeley, a lot of the players from junior clubs like Avondale and clubs like that and Munster Senior League kind of players um, they've lost big players as well but we might be talking about one later on but the player I've picked for them their signing of the season for me is uh, Keen Murphy the 24 year old has been at Galway for the last couple of seasons guys uh, good defender, solid defender. He's a Cork man as well, so he'll be happy to get back, I think, to Cork and see if he can um, perform for Cove. Cove, a good back line, the likes of Lions in there as well, so Murphy will really add to that. Now on to Cove's uh, friendly neighbours, Cork City, and they've brought in some players as well. Paul Hunt from Cove actually has come in. The likes of um, George Heavens come in for Stratford Town, and Jack Baxter in loan for, from Preston will definitely be one to keep an eye on. Um, it came, for me, it came down to two, Stephen Beachy and Jamie Wynn. Uh, Stephen Beachy, obviously we know about Stephen Beachy. Cork fans will know about him. Uh, haven't played for the club before and should bring a bit of experience back to Cork. Can he refine that form or 
you know, play the way he did at Cork City this time like he did before. We don't really know. He's been away a while. Um, I've gone for Jamie Wynn, though, just about, guys. Jamie Wynn for me because uh, Jamie Wynn wins. Uh, he's come in from Dundalk. He played a couple of games, actually. Featured a few times. Seriously, itchy head there. Needs to be scratched. <laughs> Featured a few times last season for Dundalk as well. 19-year-old winger. Bit of pace. A uh, bit of dash about him. Um, one hopefully that'll excite the Cork City fans and even though Beachy's an excellent sign as well I think Wynn could be the one to watch here guys they want to John Caulfield's Galway United guys and they brought in some interesting players the likes of Rory Keating from Gateshead the Mayo man um, Gary Boylan's coming for Cork Ronan Rory Manning sorry not Ronan Manning Rory Manning from Athlone Town was very good for Athlone last season he's one to watch as well and of course, the likes of Connor McCormick and Connor Kearns. But the one I've picked out, guys, is actually David Hurley from Cove Ramblers, which will annoy the pants of uh, Cove Ramblers fans, I suppose, in a way to, lo- to lose him. But um, I know, all joking aside, though, in fairness, um, you know, David linking up with John now. I thought he was outstanding, actually, for Cove Ramblers last season, the first division. I still don't think he got the credit he deserves. Obviously, he gets the credit he deserves from John Caulfield because he likes what he saw. Uh, good footballer, guys. Can play in a number of midfield positions centrally. Um, orthodox midfielder, uh, deep line playmaker, attacking midfielder. Got good passing range is the big thing with him. A very good passing range. I think um, alongside the likes of McCormack and Duggan, that could be a formidable midfield in the first division. So, um, yeah, David Hurley is my best signing for Galway in 2021. Now, guys, with this one, Shelburne, you could nearly throw seven, eight names into a hat and pick one out and say that's their best sign of the season because it will depend. They've made some excellent individual signings. It'll all depend now how they gel as a team unit and if they find the right system for the right players. Michael O'Connor, you know, uh, Kevin O'Connor, JJ Lunny, J.R. Wilson, he's a good player as well. Brendan Clark, you know, Gil, Chris, Bruna, you can go on here. But I've gone for Yo-Yo Maddie, guys, because... Um, 22-year-old scored, was a 16 goals actually in 18 games last season for UCD. Playing the front two, I think it's going to be important that, and I'd like to think that Shelburne are going to play him and Michael O'Connor up front because that clear, that's clearly where Yo, Yo excelled. And when I've seen Michael O'Connor, by the way, play for his other clubs, I always tell, I always felt if he had a partner, kind of more of a goal-scoring partner, he could really work well with them. There could be an excellent partnership there. But Yo-Yo, yeah, in fairness to Yo-Yo, he can work the channel as well. It's not all about scoring goals. He's a strong boy. He's agile. You know, he is powerful. And he's got a bit of pace as well. Uh, and clearly can finish. So, you know, if Shelburne can get the best set with him and he can do similarly to what he done at UCD last season, Shelburne are going up. Yo-Yo Maddie guys, for me, their best sign of the season. The guys had to treat you and I just the new club from Limerick and they made a, they made a slew of signs. I think 26 signs they announced and they're not finished yet apparently. So maybe their best signs yet to come. Who knows? But uh, some interesting ones. Dean George from Athlone has come in. Charlie Fleming from Cork City. Ty Ryan from Waterford, for example. Um, who else have we got? Joel Costrain has come into the club as well. Uh, the one I've gone for is Mark Ludden, guys, because of the experience Mark Ludden can bring to the club. Um, a real Galway United player who was there for years. I think he had two spells, actually, at Galway as well. Um, and unfortunately was let go at the end of the season. Not really let go as such. He just couldn't commit to the full-time project at Galway. So his experience and quality because um, would be vital, I think, to, to Treaty's chances and how their season goes because they're a new club. And to be honest, to get in some of the players I named is actually fairly impressive for a new club, I have to say. They've brought in maybe a better quality player than I thought they would being their foot only being in the door, so to speak. So for me, Mark Ludden for Treaty going into 2021. Now, UCD might have lost the likes of Maddie and Josh Collins, guys. But as usual, they have good young players coming through their ranks, but they've brought in a lot of good young players as well. And obviously, you're going to be in college in UCD. And that Sam Todd for Finn Harf's been one, Adam Lennon for Athlone, Donald Higgins from Galway, and Brennan for Shamrock Rovers. But you know what? I'm going with Sam Todd, guys, for Finn Harf's because. Um, you know, they have a lot of nice silky footballers at UCD and obviously have good footballers who can play ball. But Sam comes in, he's a right back mainly, but can play centre back as well. And um, he played in a real hard work and tough in Harps team under Ollie Horgan. And I think that kind of grit um, is what UCD need in their squad as well. So he's a very important signing for that reason. Um, I think I mentioned there he can play centre back as well. So for me, Sam Todd, UCD guys ahead of the 2021 season. Now, finally, guys, Wexford FC. I might be calling them St. Patrick's at Lake B in many ways because I brought in a few players and Pats. Paul Cleary, a defender of success. 
Oh, they're going as well. Young player Daniel Dobbin. Um, also from Pats. Sorry there. Alex O'Hanlon has come in on loan, I think, from Shelburne. I'm pretty sure it's a loan deal. That's a very good sign as well. Kyle Robinson on loan from Pats as well, who can bang them in. And Jack Connolly for Cameron Teeley. So they brought in a lot of good players, Wexler. And it's very difficult, actually, I have to say, to pick out an individual one here. Um, Jack Connolly, for me, was, is a very interesting one, guys. And Daniel Dobin. Um, Robinson would be one I'd look to only for. It's a 6-1 deal, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go with Jack Connolly, to be honest, to Cameron Teeley. Um, because um, obviously he was over in England and that he's a young player midfielder uh, if he can get set in that Wexford team good footballer he can really um, improve their midfield I think and give them a bit more quality in midfield of Doherty as well as a good player so for me Jack Connolly Wexford so that's it from me guys um, a couple of videos coming up soon we're going to have um, a bit of a a couple of preview shows in from the Premier Division. Anyway, I'm going to have uh, three guys on from Shamrock Rovers, Bohemians and Dundalk in one show to do a preview of their season. Uh, Derry, Pats and Sligo. Then I'm going to have Waterford and Finn Harps in another show and Longford, I think, and obviously Drotted in another show. I'm just going to split them up into four shows, essentially. Uh, myself and Keane Menton will be doing our predictions very, very soon for the Premier and First Division. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to get busy. Uh, take it handy guys, I'll see you later, bye bye now.